Around the world, the scenes remain the same. Hundreds of migrants are losing their lives, making the dangerous journey across the Mediterranean to reach Europe and escape the unrest and danger of their home countries. In Australia, however, leaders are celebrating the outcome of their hardline approach to refugees. The fact that today we celebrate uh, that we have not had a successful people smuggling venture in a year and that over the course of uh, the last 18 months or so we've turned back 20 boats and stopped 633 people from arriving in our country uh, is a significant achievement of the Abbott government. Australia works alongside respective governments to support the policy, including Vietnam, on a case-by-case -case basis. Under Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott's leadership, only 25 Rohingya refugees have been accepted. We have a very clear policy in place and that is that people who seek to come to our country by boat uh, illegally will not settle in our country. And so we have worked on a bilateral basis with the Vietnamese government. Those 46 people have been returned. Uh, the boat that they came on has been scuttled and we have been able to stare down that venture. Human rights advocates have been in an uproar over the policy's secrecy including the recent sanctioning of all medical information coming out of the Australian-run detention centres. The most recent of these have been 67 child abuse allegations at the Nauru Detention Centre, including a child asylum seeker who was seeking medical treatment after being raped by a fellow detainee. Problems at the Manus Detention Centre have also raised concerns in the country, with the Prime Minister and Police Minister calling for investigations into the rape of a local woman by suspected Australian guards. Meanwhile, Manus MP Ronnie Knight has called for the asylum centre to be shut down. Alana Lay, MTV World News.